Hello once again. We're here in the third video, which means we're essentially halfway through. You go. Doing well, mate. We'll get through this, don't worry. Anyway, we're on to our next one now. Cardiovascular and respiratory systems um, for the tests. Obviously, following the same thing as the last couple of videos. Um, for this, we'll have a look at the board of creativity. We've got obviously the two keywords one in blue one in red obviously to symbolize the types of blood and everything then we've got a drawing illustration of the heart all the different chambers atrium ventricles or the aorta all the different bits of these i'm not going to lecture you on all of that and then we've also got the lungs so we've got the two main functioning organs of the two systems beneath it we've then got up a blood as in oh i didn't mean to rub that off a uh, blood pressure machine and we've also got a picture of a Johnny Bravo it was going to be just a picture of someone's head on the side but I figured you know what you see that in everything uh, why not go with somebody instantly recognizable and when you're marking this you go back and you think what one was really good what stood out to me instead of all that vertically shot normal ones I'm imagining you're seeing all people laying on their bed on their sofa like this um, uh, today I'm talking about cardiovascular oh my phone Right then, um, three, two, one. I've just edited that out. Uh, my phone just fell off mid sentence and it hit the floor. I'm going to move something there now in case that happens again. Hopefully, it will not. Anyway, uh, my point was I was making this stands out. You think, oh, he had that. That was real, well cool. That applies to my Saturday morning cartoon fever, whatever you know, it stands out in your mind. Um, anyway. On to our key questions. What is it? What are the cardiovascular and respiratory systems? Cardiovascular is blood going through your body. Respiratory is air going through your body. Well, oxygen going in. And then we've got CO2 going out. Or linking up with your blood through your alveoli, through diffusion, which is movement of particles in a high concentration to an area of low concentration, down a concentration gradient. And that will slip into your blood, and it goes to blue to red, or red to blue, depending on whatever's going on. Yeah, that's that. Uh, we've got what tests, what tests did we do? We did for our, we've got, oh, oh dear, just lost it. Oh, okay. We've got the rowing machine, which was a two kilometer row, as quickly as you can do it. And then we also had a blood pressure test, which is why we've got the blood pressure machine down there. The rower was done in 8 minutes and 43 seconds, giving us a score of 30, 38.33, where compared to our second, our third question of normative data, that came out as 40, uh, 30, 34 uh, to 43, so more towards the top end of it, which is uh, pretty good, I hope. Or pretty bad thing, which we want to go around, but no, it's good. Um, this would not really been the best test to do, simply because before doing it, we just done the free rep max thing, so legs a bit tired, exhausted a lot of energy trying to do uh, the deadlifts. So yeah, we probably would have been better to do the cardiovascular sort of exercise or whatever at the start of it, but we didn't really think that smart about it. So for future. That would be something we'd have to sort out. Um, staying on the path of tests, we've got the blood pressure test. We did this with Harrison, and we got a systolic blood pressure to come back as uh, 121, and then we got a diastolic of 64. Comparing this to normative data, we're going to go looking at primarily systolic. It didn't really give di uh, diastolic. Uh, it says normative anywhere to a healthy range, 90 to 20, uh, 120. Then having, uh, let's have a look here, systolic blood pressure, we've got normal is less than 120. Elevated is 120 to 129, so Harrison has just slipped slightly into that category. However, his uh, diastolic blood pressure, that's fine, as long as it's less than 80, it will not go anywhere near 
um, it jumps all the way up to high blood pressure so he's absolutely fine in that department um, other than that that's a really decent score for him on the blood pressure as far as blood pressure is concerned could do with a little bit more cardiovascular endurance sort of exercises for him to help improve in his sporting environment uh, we go on to our last key question which is sporting world how does it apply to the sporting world well rowing is used loads of different places primarily in universities where they put different squads and bits and pieces together like cambridge and oxford battling against each other um then you've also got it being used in multi-sports at the moment you're primarily seeing it in crossfit rugby uh used as a way of training so mainly just because it helps mobilize the body and get all the stuff moving and warmed up and ready to go into the next exercises or any kind of lifting you want to do so you have to spend ages doing other bits of mobility after going on something like a treadmill then we've got the blood pressure blood pressure is obviously important because it tastes it tells if you're at risk of like a heart attack or anything what's your cholesterol like all those bits and pieces and just monitoring your health so that is pretty much it yeah see you in the final installment which will be on the next slide let's go